Hello guys, my name is Kylie Bologna. Welcome if you are new with us. Welcome back if you guys have been here before. Um, if you guys have been here before, this isn't something I normally do, but I wanted a little challenge. So we are doing a full face of makeup using only TJ Maxx products. So I'm very excited. Let's dive in and see what I got. I am very excited. I love shopping, so this was like a dream come true for me. My TJ Maxx is very hit or miss with makeup, so I think we got the best of the best of what we really could this day. Um, I did get a toner because it was on sale, but uh, this is for my skincare, but I love. So for setting spray, I got the Max Fix Plus in the Magical Radiance, which is their like glittery one. I was like, I have to get it. For foundation, I got the Laura Mercier Paris. This is in 2 and 2 linen. For like a lip balm, I got the Glow Hub Pep Talk Pumping Peptide Rescue Balm. This just sounded really interesting to me. And it's chap season, so I always do like a chapstick while I do my routine anyways. I got this e.l.f. Mineral Infused Face Primer. I also got this because I'm a little nervous that this is going to be a little too dark. We'll look at the color in a second. So I'm hoping I can use this to lighten it. I was trying to find any kind of like lightning drops and it's just not a thing. Um, I got this e.l.f. blush. This is in shade Always Rosy. I saw this and I was like, I have to have it. This is the MAC Retro MAC Lipstick in shade Ruby Woo, which everyone and their mom talks about. I think that they made this color specifically for Madonna, but I might be a liar, so don't trust me. And then last but certainly not least, I got this Flutter By ColourPop Makeup Palette for my eyeshadow. So I'm really excited. I think I covered all of my bases. My biggest worry the whole time was that I was going to forget something. But I don't think I did. I think I'm doing pretty good. Ugh. I did not get sunscreen and I refused to step, miss out on sunscreen so I'm using the e.l.f. one though. I'm very excited. It's been a very long time since I've really shopped at TJ Maxx for makeup. Um, before I ever worked in the beauty industry, I only used to get my makeup from TJ Maxx, so this is very crucial in my life. Oh god, I'm starting to get nervous now because this primer is clear. So it's a mineral infused primer. God, I haven't used e.l.f. primer in so long. I used to like swear by e.l.f. products. Essence is definitely now what e.l.f. used to be. Like, it's like $3 this and $2 this. And I like, I respect that a lot because unfortunately we live in a dynamic and an economy where that's not happening too often. So it's nice to see. This, um, this primer is very, like, it's just a lot. In terms of texture, there's a lot going on. It's just very slick. This is the Glow Hub lip balm, basically. And this was $2.99. Ugh, oh, I'm so excited. It looks so cool. Oh, I can smell it already. It says it has pink grapefruit in it. I love how hydrating that is. I love this. My face just feels, like, moist. And I don't really like it. It kind of stresses me out now. I think I'm going to start with... I'm going to start with my base. I always start with my base. I am so nervous for this foundation. So this is the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Foundation. I've heard really good things about this one. I just... We don't have Laura Mercier around where I live. It just looks a little too yellow. But I guess there's only one way to find out, right? Oh, baby, she's yellow. I'm going to cheat a little bit and mix in my glow drops. 
This is my Morphe M6 foundation brush. Oh, she is dark. What I am trying to achieve now, I guess, is kind of just an all over light finish. So hopefully I can either lighten it up in some spots or just blend it in to make it look a little bit more natural. I guess that's my quiff with like TJ Maxx and stuff. As like my stores, especially they carry like no foundation. So it's always like you kind of just have to get what you get. Not saying that I had to buy this, but in the summer, this might be actually really good and really easy and enjoyable, but definitely not my winter shade. See, the difference between this one and the About Face is the About Face on me is a little gray yellow, where this is just a little bit more almost orangey yellow. Gives me that like not real suntan look. I literally just buffed it out with my brush and now I'm going in my beauty blender and just working that bad boy in. Also, I want you guys to feel the pressure that I have like 20 minutes before I have to go to work. So I have to go to work like this. So it is what it is at this point. Um, I'm also starting to realize just how much stuff I didn't get. Like I'm like, oh, I don't have a concealer and I don't have a setting powder. And I don't have any of this stuff. I'm like, what am I doing? The foundation's on. She at least somewhat matches slash looks kind of natural. So now we're gonna go in with this palette. I think these colors are so freaking gorgeous. This like sparkle, I opened this and I was like, I need this, I need it. I'm so excited. I am gonna start by going in with this like neutral taupey. It is called Made to Last, which, mad respect. I actually have never tried Colourpop's eyeshadows. I have forever heard good things about them. Like even that, right? That's very creamy. It blends out really well. I really like that. Um, I think I'm gonna go in with this lighter dark one, which is Chi Chi Changles, I think it says. I don't have my glasses on, so I'm like, I really cannot see anything. But it's just like a slightly darker brown. And then there's like a dark ist brown, so I think I'm gonna go over top that with this. Almost like a, just a gradual fade in. This has been such an exciting week for me. Like, I've just been like, doing it. And it's been so much fun. Like, I've just been so on it. It's great. This has been a great week. I'm already so excited for, like, summer, though. I just want to start going to Six Flags and just start making, like, amusement park content because I love going to the amusement park. I hope you guys are ready to travel this year because I am so ready to travel. This is that slightly darker brown from the original one. This is Angel BB. I have this scarf on that Ken really likes because it has little danglies on the end. And he is just continuously trying to eat them. And I'm like, back up. I love like the brown Luke. It looks very natural, very normal people. Now we're going to spice it up. By diving right into Overpacked. I am not going light on this one. Like we are overpacking. I live for that, honestly. Oh, I love this glitter. This is gorgeous. Now I'm going to have to think about what my life would have looked like if I didn't buy this palette. Everything would have been fine because I wouldn't have known it existed. But now that I own it, I'm just so happy i i love that to pieces i love that i'm a very simple eyeshadow girly so it's very like cute and sweet for me i am just going to take a little angled brush and dip into this like blacky brown that's called float on and i'm just gonna create like a soft little smoky i just created like a little wing with 
the powder, basically. I am going to cheat a little bit on two items. I'm going to use the Revolution IRL Filter Finish Concealer. Because somebody said, hmm, concealer? Don't eat her. I just went in with that concealer. Now I'm going to go in with my Morphe setting powder. This is in bright pink. I know I'm being a cheater, but I really did not think this through. Look at my little biscuit boy in the back. He's so cute. I love him so much. We're going to take off this setting powder. And then, honestly, I didn't buy any bronzer either, so I'm going to go in with um, the Instant Summer Bronzer from Hard Candy that I got at Walmart on sale. So, that's basically the same thing. I got this brush at Walmart, I'm not going to lie to you guys. And honestly, I really like the way it contours my nose. It just has like this nice angle to it that works really well. Like guys, I'm cheating. I'm sorry. This is the e. Elf Blush that I just got from TJ Maxx. I'm actually very exciting. I don't really have any like orangey ready blushes like this. I find them to be not enough, a little boring, if you will. It's very cute. It's very natural. I.e., in my world, it's boring. This is so exciting. I am going in with my Max Fix Plus Magical Radiance. This is honestly the most exciting part for me, is this Ruby Woo. MAC lipstick. I've never tried this MAC lipstick ever in my life. And I'm so excited. Also, so far, I think my makeup looks phenomenal. So, I'm just really excited. The, okay, MAC, here's the thing. Like, just sticking with the simplicity of their packaging, of like their regular bulletproof, their regular bullet style, it's just immaculate. Oh, yeah. This is gorgeous. I'm so excited. I can see why so many people wear this lipstick. I love this. Honestly, this could turn into an everyday lipstick for me. I love this so much. I am going to get dressed and then uh, I'll see you guys in a minute. I love you all so much. I think I look so good. Um, I'm sure Kenneth does too. And I will see you guys soon. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's not something I do super often, but I hope you liked it. I will see you all next week. Bye!